hi welcome to my channel so this is going to be a bit of a building work update people are asking me what we're up to now so i thought i'd show you what we've been up to for the last year and why we've had like no life um we are literally renovating the whole house and we're putting on a rear single story extension um, we're doing it all ourselves so it's just evenings and weekends that we've been working I love to say we and <laughs> it really isn't me at all this time it is Craig all the way um, I helped him a lot in the old house but we've got a son this time and it's a lot harder for me to help him so Craig has pretty much done this all on his own he's just worked like a machine so if you're interested um, this is what a year of building work by yourself looks like so first room was Ralph's bedroom. We really wanted to get his room done as quickly as we could because then it was something familiar to him. We decorated it the same as we had in the old house. Obviously same furniture and it was just like he had his old room back in the new house. Um, the problem was is that in Ralph's bedroom was some boxing and it was like an airing cupboard with the boiler in. Uh, that was so noisy and we decided that the heating system needed to be changed anyway so literally I think the first weekend we moved in that got ripped out we had a whole new heating system put in up in our loft so that's got rid of all the boxing that we had in the bedroom and then yeah got on to decorating Ralph's bedroom and this is what it looks like now so once we finished Ralph's room we moved on to prepare for our extension and started digging the foundations but we couldn't get a mini digger down so Craig literally had to dig all the foundations by hand I told you he's a machine uh, but I just cannot tell you how much mud has come out of this house it's like trailer load after trailer load um, but once they were done then we got a company in to pump in the concrete rather than trying to mix it by hand um, and that just made the job so much quicker and easier when it comes to pouring the foundations our house is quite an old house and there's no insulation in the floors so it's really cold in the winter and the front windows of the house were all letting in such a draft like literally our first night our, our curtains were doing this and I asked Craig if he'd open the window and he said no like that's how much of a draft that was coming in so we had to put a bit of a hold on the extension and sort out the windows obviously if it's just me and Craig living here we would have probably just suffered it but with a toddler we needed to make sure the house was warm so all the windows were replaced at the front but in doing that it meant we had to do our garage conversion because we went for like anthracite grey windows they all had to be ordered in the same batch together so that they'd all match um, and we knew we was always going to do a garage conversion but obviously because we had to then replace the garage door for the new window we had to do that first um, and Craig and I are very um, OCD I'd say and everything has to line up and the bedroom window above the garage was off centre so it, we just thought it would be easier to knock the whole wall down and rebuild it and then put the windows in that so that's what we did. <laughs> It actually worked out really well doing our garage conversion first because it gave us this extra room which is what I'm in now. Um, obviously our kitchen was going to be knocked out at the back at some point so what we've done is just put a temporary kitchen in here and then Craig just literally went to Howden's, one of his suppliers, and just said what discontinued stock or damaged stock did they have and we literally got this whole like temporary kitchen for about £100 so really cheap but it was great to have this clean space to cook and I could keep all the building work separate. After that all we've done is just plasterboarded ready for plastering because this room will eventually become three rooms which will be a utility that walks into a downstairs toilet and shower room and then an office at the front. When we bought the house they had already had a small extension at the back and it was plonked right in the middle at the back of the house and it was literally just a utility room and toilet. Um, totally wasted the space of the house so first job now to continue with the extension was to knock that down, uh, prepare the base and put um, the oversight down. So a real major part of the job for us was getting the steel in. Because we're knocking out so much of the back of the house and we're creating this big like, open plan living, we are losing a lot of the original support that we had. So we've had to put in this huge steel that weighs an absolute ton. The house had to be pinned up with acros, needles going through our upstairs um, like rooms to hold the house up while the steel went in. I really don't know how Craig got the steel in, but he'd done it. Um, so that was a massive job done for us. The next part, which is the really exciting part, is when you get to knock through. The steel's doing its job and we got to push the walls down. 
obviously this means a lot more rubbish, more trailer loads of hardcore to go, um, and even Ralph and I got involved with that one. I helped Craig as much as I could, and Ralph had his little wheelbarrow of sand, and he thought he was helping anyway. <laughs> What do we say? Bye bye. You do it. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> no, that's our place. The next job was the footings up to damp course and then laying the suspended timber floor over the top. The next part was brickwork, which I love. Um, I feel really excited when you get to brickwork because so many like big changes, like visual big changes happen really quickly. Like overnight you just see like the structure appear out the ground and we could really see the space that we created with the extension um, and the bifolds and where they're going. So yeah, I really love the brickwork stage. The next step was the roof uh, structure. Um, as you can see, we've got two openings for our skylights. We were having two three meter by one meter flat skylights put in and then a gray fiberglass roof covering. The next really exciting job was getting our bifolds in. These are aluminium bifolds so that they're gray and they match the windows and the theme of our house because we've gone for like a grey theme this time. Um, each bifold is three metres wide um, but we've done that so that they will then be parallel and line up with the skylights. We then had the really fun task of trying to get our skylights on the roof to fit them. So we had a real good team of people helping us that day. Um, it was a lot easier than I think we thought it would be. Uh, they went in like a dream and we was officially watertight. Yeah! So then we moved on to the inside of the house and we've actually halved our lounge. The front half is gonna be like a little evening room for me and Craig. Eventually, no toys are meant to be allowed in there. Well, that's the plan anyway. The other half is gonna be a playroom, which is actually gonna link into the extension. But um, right now, what he's done is he's just put a stud work wall up in between, which now means that I've still got a lounge I can use at the front and I've got a safe area for Craig, uh, Ralph to play in with me. I've got a kitchen still, and then we're gonna block up the door that goes into the old kitchen and obviously now into all the new extension. That way we keep all the dust out the back and I've got two rooms that I can use that are like dust free for me and Ralph in the day. A real major part of the job now is getting all the floors taken up. As I said previously, we've got no insulation in our floors, so this was a job that we were always gonna do, and because we're already doing that, while we're there, we might as well run underfloor heating, so we're having that run in the whole downstairs of the house, including the new extension. Um, but obviously, while this is happening, the floors are up, it's really, really dangerous. Uh, we can't stay here with Ralph, so we are gonna go and move in with Craig's parents. So as you can see, all the Celotex insulation has been laid between the floor joists. Um, all the piping for the underfloor heating has been run. Uh, that all then got cemented in, um, and then we've got boarding going down on top. We've then created a pocket door, which will be in Ralph's playroom. What we've done, we've got two sliding doors going into this, so during the day we can open them up and his playroom will feel like part of the extension, but whenever we wanna hide them toys away, we can shove them all in, shut the doors, and we won't have to see them. <laughs> Then all the walls and the ceilings have had to be plasterboarded. The whole house has pretty much been rewired because the electrics are shocking, as was the plumbing, so nearly all the plumbing's been renewed as well. So there's lots gone on behind these walls that you haven't actually seen. So we really tried to get the lounge, Ralph's playroom and the hallway finished before we move back in. These were three rooms that we kind of really needed. I needed someone to play with Ralph, I needed someone to put his toys, and obviously I needed someone to cook, which I already had. So by getting these three rooms done, it made it easier for us to move back home. So before we moved back home, those three rooms got plasterboarded, uh, then plastered, then we had new skirting, new architrave, new coving, they got decorated, and then we had new carpet go down in the lounge. So I'm gonna show you where we are now. We've got our one room finished here, which is our lounge. So 
So this is Ralph's playroom that's finished. As you can see, he's got the most amazing digger wallpaper that Craig put up. My son's obsessed with tractors and diggers, so this is for him. Um, this room's not quite finished. We still need storage in here yet. We've boarded up the, that's an opening that goes into the extension to let natural light in. Um, and obviously we've got doors to put on there, but at the minute we've just got a curtain we pull down just to keep the dust out for him. He still needs flooring but um, that won't get done until we do the flooring in the whole of the extension. So right now he's just got these like colorful foam mats to keep it safe for him. But all his toys are in here, it's safe for him to play. We've got the underfloor heating on so it's lovely and warm. And yeah, he loves it in here, so check it out. All our hallways decorated out there and then we're into the extension so Craig's dad built us this barrier which is really great because it means that Ralph can go in his playroom but he can't get to anything that's going on in the extension so this is our extension so all the floors boarded the underfloor heating's on and working now all the insulations in the ceiling and we're currently running all the lighting sockets for out here uh, we're having spotlights in the whole of the ceiling um, down the back wall here that's where our kitchen's going to go I've got my washing machine in the middle of the room at a minute because it's the only place that I can put it but where that's going there'll be an island with a sink in it you can see the door at the back and that's where we're going to get through to our utility and then obviously you've got Ralph's playroom, so the doors will open like you'll sort of see at the minute. Um, and then his toys and he can sort of spill into this area during the day. And I can chuck all the toys back in after. We've got a sofa going in this corner here. And that opening that you saw in Ralph's room is going to be there to let natural light in. Um, and then we've kind of made a mock table. <laughs> and that's going to go in the centre of the bifold. So yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> I haven't really touched many of the rooms upstairs. They are pretty much as they were. Obviously we've decorated Ralph's room and the only other room we've made changes to because we've had to because of plumbing why the ceilings were down in the extension is our shower room. We had a really weird layout. We had a shower room, then we had a separate toilet and then we've had a main bathroom all across the back. So yeah, we didn't really need all of them. So what we've done is we've knocked the shower room and the toilet into one and this will become our fourth bedroom. And then the fourth bedroom that we did have, which was more like a box room, that's going to become a separate shower room. So there you go. That's what a year of building work in this house looks like. Uh, it's been really hard actually. Like Craig's worked solidly. I've kind of been a parent on my own while he's been working. So it's been hard on both of us, but it's going to be totally worth it in the end. We've done so much already and I'm sure I've missed bits out that Craig's done that I haven't mentioned. And we've still got a long way to go, but we can definitely see the finish line now. The aim is to try and get the extension finished and then, yeah, sit back and enjoy life. So I'll keep you all updated as we get rooms finished. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.